Hi everybody, <clears throat> welcome to my channel, New Sum. Um, I hope you guys are doing good wherever you are, staying safe, taking all the precautionary measures. Um, and I hope you are enjoying the content on my videos. And, um, <clears throat> you know, now that we're all like at home and limiting ourselves from, you know, going out um, in the public and keeping a social distance, we need to also still keeping, you know, still keep ourselves in shape. So many of us sometimes, um, <clears throat> you know, feel stiff when we wake up, but some sort of muscular nerve kind of pinch pain. Um, not like, you know, uh, most likely related to, not related to underlying pre-health conditions. But just the way we have maybe slept or overworked our body while working out or just sitting in one place at work or using our body in a wrong posture. And that can be very hurtful in various ways. And one of the most common issues happening is a tight, stiff, uh, painful neck or back. And... Um, Yes, it hurts a lot and hardly you can turn that neck or, you know, around or um, even your back. It's, it, it, it causes uh, problems while walking properly. And um, just, you know, regular bending down, any kind of like basic movement, it causes a lot of trouble. So a new study had shown that um, just by at home, you can do some simple exercises um, which are easier to tackle that stiff neck pain, and it's much better than medicine. Um, next day, a neck pain um, affects at least three quarter of people at some point in their lives, and most of us take over the counter medications such as you know aspirin or acetaminophen um, to help ease out the pain or visit their direct uh, visit their doctors or chiropractors in search of relief. And the most effective way to such conditions. Um, are people who are um, more desk bounded um, those are the most effective or you know just like sitting for many many hours for work related purposes so according to Gert Bronfort who is the vice president of research at Northwestern Health Sciences University in Bloomington Minnesota and he's also the study's lead author he said it's good news for patients um, that there is something they can do themselves and this study was the first that was largely federally funded. Um, spinal therapy was compared in like three different methods consisting of medication, chiropractor, and home exercises for uh, effectiveness to relieve the uh, neck pain. While spinal manipulation has been shown to be effective at treating lower back pain, less was known about the impact on the upper and the end of the spine. So Dr. Bronford said an exercise consisting of having chicken-like movement of the head in which people pull their heads back and then tilt their chin slightly downward seemed to be especially useful. So the study also indicates people who have a chiropractor or like a physical therapist, they release tense joints and muscles through spinal therapy and can get relief from neck pain. This study consisted of 272 people who expressed of having neck pain without a specific cause for at least two weeks, but no longer than three months. And they were separated into three treatment groups. The study's goal was to see and test out which way would be the most effective way to relieve the neck pain. So the results were that researchers found, um, they found out that home exercises were very much effective at relieving neck pain. It was better than medications alone at various time points during the study at reducing patient-rated neck pains. One of the parts of the study showed about 80% of the patients doing the home exercises indicated a reduction of at least 50% in pain levels after 12 weeks compared with about 70% of people in the medication group. Now, if you ask me, I am definitely one of those who would keep trying to reduce the pain and feel ease just by, you know, doing home exercises as the study suggested um, and reducing the intake of medicines as much as possible or, um, you know, trying not to go to physical therapy or chiropractors. So um, I would like to hear from all of you. What's your take on this? Thank you.